This is where we will stand tomorrow, my son, when Joan of Arc burns. Already they are dousing the pyre with oil. This is to be no ordinary fire, you see. The flames must rise high for La Pucelle, as if they truly were the fires of hell. For a long time, she was a nuisance to Duke Philippe. He never could understand her zealous wrath, her single-mindedness, and how she seemed to truly believe the words of fire that she spoke. Compared to him, the ruthless politician, she was another being entirely. But at this point, La Pucelle was not on Philippe's mind. For even as Joan dealt defeats to the Burgundian forces in France, Philippe had yet to deal with the escaped Joclin. In Holland, Joclin had found new supporters in the so-called Hooks, noblemen of low birth. For years, they had been fighting a civil war with the merchant class, known as the Colts. Philippe now had to walk into this mire of old grudges and blood feuds to finally defeat the elusive Joclin. Must not. Oh, I have to actually be a little bit more careful. I can't lose my starting town centre and that's gonna actually be difficult for me. So I often don't pay attention here when I'm pushing forward. So the Brit- maybe it's better just to play water temporarily. And then... Kill off the English and then go on the land. Okay, so I get Galley and I get Bracer, so we need to kind of boom a little bit to get, to be able to sustain production of the ships. So I hope that they aren't super aggressive on the water. We don't liberate seven of the Dutch villages, okay. I wonder if each one gives me something. That would be good if each one gives me something. go onto the stone as well. We can get a Flemish Revolution this time, which is going to be fun. What I want to do here is actually... Uh, so I want to do water first, and then do Flemish Revolution on land, assuming I don't die in the meantime. I'm imagining that they'll still send units to come and kill me. Sí, sí, más truco. 
Try and bait them in. Oh, they're there in hand time, yeah. Chemistry is like 300, I think. This village will no longer suffer from the despotic rule of the Rus. Our ally, the Kurds, will be in charge of this settlement from now on. Stand strong, beloved wife. My fleet is on its way to save you. That cocky Englishman ran to England to hide rather than duel me. I have bigger fish to fry. Ibati. Butter. Ibati. I'm guessing I'm not really meant to go on the water too much here, but... I know, it seems like the right response to make. Okay, I need Bracer and Galleon here. Maybe a few more on food would be good. Maybe an extra town center. Let's do four TCs. <laughs> Not my fishing ship, that's rude. Oh no, I misclicked, um, shit. Oops. Can't get Cannon Galleon yet either. Even on gold again. <clears throat> I kind of forgot about my army here. We have freed a town from the tyranny of the hoof. Our friends, the Kurds, will rule this place from now on. We keep our word, Sleep. You will help out, and the Kurds will assist you. Our soldiers are eager for battle. See. And then Galleon shouldn't be too far off now. Oh. Oh no. Well, shit. Rip you. you really thought that you could hold me prisoner, Philippe? I told you I would not give up this easily. Ibati. Ibati. I'm ready to start going to the land military section as well.
Okay, we clean that up. Well, I think we need a late. I think we just need a uh, couple. Oh, no, no. Couple of these. Oh, maybe we do need a late if we want to reach that far. Hmm. What's the order? Of course I got plus four just before that. That's fine. I think no, I've got that set up. Oh shit. Okay, once this goes up, we can at least defend that. What's in here? Oh, that's me killing my own shit. That's a go. So what I do have oh that's good that's good that Let's get that I think I should be able to arrange this from here now hopefully How's it going, Francesco? Good to hear, man. Good to see you. I'm guessing that means there's going to be another load of shit happening soon here. Need more on wood so Like, I have so many- oh shit. Shit, ready. Hmm. Seems kind of sus. <laughs> There's so much going on. Oh shit. Uh, let's put these here. I didn't think they had navy as well. And they see Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. How was the stream? Oh shit. Oh shit. We threw a hell of a lot of ships away. Thank you so much for the raid, Renee. I really do appreciate it. What were you up to today?
weird how the AI micro is absolutely everything until it comes to this. I also forgot that the uh, the gunpowder thing would apply to the cannon galleons. Oh no, I'm out of that stone. I'm going to go to this stone. Sonic 06 is a mistake. I told you it was bad. I did tell you it was bad. And so did absolutely every review in the past 20 years. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful though, Renee. There's been a couple of games that I have enjoyed that other people have rated really low, like Sonic uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Rub it and start attacking, what? <laughs> I haven't made them, I haven't got the upgrade here so I can sell this. Ready for what I do, Flemish Revolution. I wanna get like four traps ready to go for the revolution. Cool. We have as much as we can there. Uh, we kind of want a forward base here, maybe. And then more TC so I can reboot more easily. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I need any more. Uh, ships, because I'm just going to clean them off the water now. I could never finish Sonic 06. I just, it hurt my soul too much. How do they still have shit there? That's annoying. Oh, I've already played through all of the campaigns, Rikosa. How are you today? This is the. This is just the new ones I haven't got to yet. Oh. Bell seems reasonable when they've got this here. Probably is still not worth it, but... I think it's revolution time. Ah, uh, we can still get to 100. we still got a few more pop we can get. Oh, I sent them back here, but obviously I must have forgotten at some point. Alright, we can do the revolution now. I didn't get the upgrades again. Every time I play the uh, Burgundians, I forget to get the upgrades for infantry. I don't know what's so hard about it. Oh, that's right. I can't let this town center die, otherwise I lose the mission. It's so hard actually organizing uh, your economy after using Blemish Revolution, honestly. Oh no, I never finished that one either. You've played only one so far, really? 
I'm doing really good thanks, Free Kazar. It's been really nice playing through the campaigns. And I actually haven't had to restart many of them, which I was a little bit surprised by. Have them all queued up, ready to go. The most important thing is for them to get back to farming. Ding! 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 Oh, it's so much fun. Look at this! Ah, uh, look at the little kid. This one's on gold. So you boom doesn't die if you get your eco, yeah. That's what I usually do with the uh, militia. I kind of forgot about these again. I still have lots of militia I, ha I haven't got around to assigning yet. <clears throat> Are there more around here somewhere? Probably were, but I probably lost them by now. God damn, they have a lot of navy. Oh, they're all up here. To here? Right. I really want to go do all this. Our allies, the Kurds, will be in charge of this settlement from now on. Uzod, see. Uzod, red. Abu Davis, see. Okay, we get that. This can go in here. Uh, you can go towards here. <clears throat> All of these can go towards here, actually. That's the last one, thank goodness. We've assigned every military unit to be useful now. We have to actually attack this gate first this, for this one. Uh, I wonder if they can. Because like, these are all feudal military, they haven't got any upgrades. I think they should be able to actually clean them all by themselves pretty much. Oh, they let me in. And now we can use these to go and deal with this. Lemesh militia. Why do they un I suppose it's been a bug for ages, but the, the trebuchets will unpack randomly. Our friends, the Kurds will rule this place from now on. Oh, they finally got some upgrades. Maybe it's like based on the number of uh We now own a market. Feel free to send your merchants to do business with us. And now we do this. <laughs> oh the English are now my friends apparently.
Ding. I love the idea of turning my town center into a, a military building, honestly. It's like the best thing about this. That's like, um, that's like the AI excuses. Oh, I would definitely kill her. <laughs> In the end? It was the Pope that dealt the final blow to Jocelyn's dreams of power. As he dissolved her marriage to the Lord Protector of England, she was left without allies, and soon she was once again captured by Philippe's forces. Philippe gave her a peace treaty more amicable than she could have hoped for. She was allowed to keep her titles, but Philippe assumed regency over all of her lands. Once the wife of the Dauphin of France, Jocelyn was reduced to a position of hollow prestige. For the first time, the Low Countries were unified under Burgundian rule. A strange situation for a land so long defined by quarreling cities. But in the end, a change for the better. You see, my son, a land united is a stronger land. When its cities no longer fight each other, their people can focus on the arts, on industry, beautiful architecture and innovation. All of the things that we call civilization. All of the things that must be cast aside when one is called upon to pick up the sword. As for Philippe, with his northern realms secured, he could finally turn his attention to France and to Joan of Arc, the Maid of Orléans.